Here's my back field. This will be the first section I'll be showing. It starts about where this uh, pine tree is right here and goes across. It's got a path mode through it. Well, just kind of. No steady cam, guys. Doing the best I can here. Go through here. Some of the grasses. A little bit of butterweed left. This narrow corridor through here is always shady. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of Lespedisa through here. Then opens up at this little bit bigger clearing. See the pines along here. Lots of Lespedisa. Not sure what uh, this little thing is right here. It's a something. Yeah. Nice big milkweed. Just just starting to bloom. I hate to lose this guy, but I'm not sure this meadow can really be saved. Some yellow clover along here. This side of this field is really thick with Lespedisa. There's also some sump weed coming in, up in here. That's what I'm scanning now is kind of the south side of the path. a burn. Some grasses on this north side. Something back here. There's just not a a lot back here that's very Salvageable. Oh, this is still better weed. Things under this oak. It's a big southern red oak right there. This is the meadow from this side. Not sure if I'm going to do anything with this area, but this little area is always wet, so it might be a good place for something that likes wet. There's a seep underneath here, and even in the summertime, it stays pretty damp. Okay, barn field. I'm calling it that because it has the well house and the RV barn on it. There's a, uh, on this side, not a whole lot. Lots of grasses, lots of Lespedisa, lots of whatever the heck this is. But we do have some Coryopsis back here, it's starting to bloom. Last leaf Coryopsis. Here it goes through here. We will clear, need to clear that out. That'll go at some point. Some more Coryopsis. Um, this RV barn, 
the front part is going to end up mown and uh, with regular grass on it. It's kind of wet. Oh, just got mud on my feet. Brief scan on this side of the RV barn and this barn fields. Right in this area is where I have quite a bit of lyre leaf sage. Uh, there's some grasses back there. I guess I could maybe zoom in a bit. This back piece all the way back here actually feeds through to the west clearing on the back side. This is the upper west clearing. Fine. The upper and the lower fields are divided by this line of trees that used to be a fence line. But here's the upper west. There's pretty much nothing of value in this particular field. The upper east here on the other side of the drive. All of this right in front of me is sumpweed that can definitely go. A um, few things in this field, but there's just not a whole lot. A little bit of Coryopsis right here. Some pokeweed that I don't care about one way or the other. Pokeweed tends to get out of hand. Now, this is the lower west field. I'll walk through this a little bit. It's the smaller of these two fields. Let's see if I can walk in here without getting too muddy. A lot of grasses in here. Some of this field has a lot of Lespedeza, but some areas does not. So this is a lot of grasses, but then you see in the middle, there's a lot of Lespedeza. There was one piece of Indian paintbrush in here this spring. There's a little wild rose. I don't know if that's multiflora rose or not. Something coming up. Milkweed. Another milkweed. This is the clasping milkweed. Last year this had a lot of Venus looking glass in it. I think that's about done blooming this year. Oh, here's another Indian paintbrush right here. So a little bit of that. Somewhere in here there's some orange butterfly weed as well. I'm not sure where it is. A little bit of yarrow. area has a lot of Lespedeza. My first year here, down here at the bottom, there was a lot of uh, yellow wing stem or um, 
yellow ironweed. I'm sorry I'm not good with scientific names, but I, it did not come back last year. Maybe it'll show up again this year. This is pretty much just useless right here. I think there's a thing you're gonna be able to do with it, this other than eradicate it. A little bit of Indian hemp here. Nice bit of that. kind of a little milkweed. That may be green milkweed. I'm not sure. I don't think it's Indian hemp. It could be. And up here is the uh, lower east field which is the one I would really like spot treated to save as much of it as I can. Some of this was sown in wheat last year after we worked it. Oh there's a beautiful snake right here. Look at you guy. I'm gonna have to pause this. I may need to take some, take some pictures. Okay Mr. Snake is gone. This field has quite a few young oaks in it that probably need to go because I do not want this to grow back up into woods. It was originally a hackberry thicket actually and we cleared all that off and then I've been seeding on it. Um, some more of whatever these are. I don't know what these are. Interesting little things. Nice big growth of a yarrow in here. Spread, it's probably five times the size it was last year, so it's really pretty. And some, obviously some Coryopsis in here. This is near a bunch of Lespedeza, but I really want to try to save this. Here's some nice Venus looking glass. You can get that. in focus. So this is an area I would definitely like to keep. And just down from here, somewhere very close, I can find it. Some more milkweeds. Here's a foxglove beer tongue. Some more Venus looking glass. Another Indian paintbrush. Really pretty. And somewhere right down in here. Ah, there it is nice little stand coming up of compass plants. So we've got several coming up right here. I definitely want to keep those. Some more Coryopsis down there by the road. Come back here. Weed. Another something getting ready to flower. Not quite sure what this is. It's going to be pretty. Back along this side, we have a lot less Lespedeza back here. 
just a little bit, but not near as much. Some cat briar. Here's some rough blazing star getting started up for the year. I had quite a bit back here last year. There's also some clasping milkweed back here uh, on this eastern end of this bottom field. these oaks that need to be removed. Here's some more of the milkweed. I don't know what kind of grass this is, but All of this area here at the front that's kind of brown is where we had to uh, do some drainage and we reseeded that with uh, winter wheat. I'm not seeing any passion flower yet but there's quite a bit of passion flower in here. There's quite a bit of painted Coreopsis in here. I'm not seeing that yet either. Uh, right up here. Oh, I don't know what that is. It's very pretty. This, I think, is green milkweed. I had quite a bit in here last year. Not sure what this is. This may be another kind of milkweed. I'm not sure. Or some more of the green. more. Oh, here's a passion flower coming up. So yeah, I hit this, this field is one I really do want to try to save. There is definitely Lespedeza in here. But it's not quite in as much concentration and I want to save as much of this field as we possibly can. That's probably it for the big tour. Finish on this pretty clump of uh, landslip Coreopsis. Just beautiful.